Hi, welcome to this part of my review featuring Lulu Unleashed. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review featuring this modern cosmic horror tabletop RPG, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about the modern world within this setting. The advantage of a modern setting lies in its immediacy. Adopting current times as the stage for our narratives enables a seamless immersion, integrating the very essence of contemporary life into the narrative. You can integrate technology and the mythos, they do not need to clash against each other, at least not when it comes to a thematic sense. You establish the digital landscape. You use technology as a double-edged sword, something that could be useful in your fight against the horrors of the mythos, but also something that could be used by the forces of the mythos themselves, such as weird data, glitches and anomalies that have no explanation. That way you can preserve the mystery of the mythos, while adding all of that weirdness, all of that cosmic horror, to the analog and digital elements of your campaign. This is all about the ethereal and physical realms, both the realms beyond, the digital realms and the physical world. Issues of privacy invasion, identity theft, digital espionage and so forth. When it comes to the background history, a century since the Innsmouth raid, the march of progress has reshaped our world with unparalleled technological advancement. You have the cults and the mad. This faction is composed of individuals who have ventured too close to the cosmic abyss and embraced the chaos they found there. In direct opposition to the cults and the mad stands Aegis, a formidable alliance of secret government agencies, dedicated private organizations and solitary defenders. You also have the unaware majority. Oblivious to the silent war raging in the shadows of their digitized lives, the vast majority of humanity continues to exist in a state of blissful ignorance. And then there is the mythos itself, a vast incomprehensible network of cosmic entities and ancient horrors that exist beyond the can of human understanding. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part we are going to talk about building urban legends and mysteries. I really like the historical background, that is, it is in harmony with Lovecraft's mythos with the fiction that he created, but at the same time you have those horrors, that cosmic weirdness that doesn't clash with the digital age, rather it embraces it or perhaps strangles it with its tentacles in order to produce strange yet believable blasphemous terror. Thank you for watching this part of the review, don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel through PayPal or DriveThruRPG, the information will be in the description and in the pinned comment. This has been Abraham El Jaguar, a professional game master. I am currently unavailable for professional sessions, but I will put my contact information in the description and in the pinned comment for when I am available again. And remember, master roleplay and you will master the game. Once again, thank you and see you later.